The problem of serology is that all proteins incorporate only left-handed amino acids, and all uh, DNA incorporates only right-handed leg acids. The problem for evolution is that that the supposed hypothesis is that everything was uh, results of random forces at work in a primordial slot. The reason it's a problem is because if you substitute a right-handed amino acid and a living protein, the protein stops functioning. The obfuscation that was presented to me on Monday was that serology was a proof of natural selection. That's the subject I want to address today. Can natural selection explain why all proteins are made up of left-handed amino acids. I can prove mathematically that there is no chance involved. Jesus Christ, math is a priori. They're not the same fucking thing at all. I can show by mathematics that if all Listen, listen, to, listen to the hypothesis here. If it started out with a primordial soup, the primordial soup would have had its 50 50 distribution between left hand and right hand amino acids. Now, if the first living thing was made up in a primordial soup, you to listen to the argument before you answer it. The Bible says it's the fool who answers the question before it's asked. Now, the problem with serology is that only proteins consisting of left-handed amino acids perform the function they're designed for. The problem for, of that towards evolution is that in a primordial soup, soup the availability of uh, Amino acids would have been evenly distributed between left hand and right hand amino acids. Since there is no uh, mechanism in nature to determine that all amino acids would be left handed, uh, you would have to have had the situation where left handed and right handed amino acids were equally available. Now that's the problem. You know what the problem is? Because if even one right-handed amino acid is in the protein, it will not function as God. Serology is the problem of left-handed and right-handed. What is it? Really? <laughs> What's it say? What's that? What? Alright. Yes, but you see, they have to be living first. Well, no protein that has right in the amino acid is living. So there can't be natural selection. They die. They die. Think about this. Now think about this. In, in the problem of surrounding, you would have to have protein that for self-replicating that contain right-handed amino acids. But when right-handed amino acids are introduced into a protein, the organism dies. So in order to have natural selection, in order to have an advantage over another, it has to be living. But anything with a right-handed amino acid in it will die. Will die. 
The human being, if at, if at one time the human being contained right-handed amino acids, there would have had to have been other rules at work at the time. We know only one thing, that human beings are made up of left-handed amino acids at time. Well, they never did. Right. Who says that? Who says that they did? Because when you have a right-handed amino acid introduced into a protein, it dies. It won't self-replicate. It dies. The organism or the cell in which the right-handed amino acid is introduced dies. Now, if the origin of mankind was a primordial sloop, soup, which would have had to have had an even distribution of left-handed and right-handed amino acids, then in that case, uh, mankind would have had to have at some time in the past contained right-handed amino acids. However, any, ce any cell in which a right-handed amino acid is introduced, it dies. So you can't have the replication of any organism which contains a right-handed amino acid because the amino acid is itself a death sentence. So you can't have natural selection. You can't have natural selection in this regard because you would have to have surviving members of the species that's involved in order to have natural selection take place. So if they don't survive, they are, there is no way to pass on any uh, selected advantage in the gene pool. It's like saying this, that every time uh, an, an animal uh, with brown spots is born, it's immediately killed. What is the likelihood a million years from now of having any animals with brown spots? You have none. So the problem of serology is not only incidentally limited to uh, non-working Proteins. It also exacerbates the problem of replication because uh, if the right-handed amino acids are in the RNA and the DNA, they will not replicate properly and the organism dies. Now the reason that's a problem for evolution is that they cannot explain, there's no means, no natural means to explain why way to explain why only left-handed amino acids are included in living proteins. Plus, they have the added problem of having to explain how a, an organism uh, would, in the midst of distributed left and right-handed amino acids. Tell that organism to self-select only the left-handed, uh, or to left, only the left-handed uh, version of the amino acid. Statistically speaking, if you have a protein which contains 463 amino acids, the probability of getting all left-handed amino acids by random choice is exceedingly high. Some what? Some bacteria have right We don't. We can't have evolved because we had to have started with an even distribution. But proteins that have... Oh, no. <laughs>